I have seen people who isolated themselves that when we basically come back, they had uh, lost it, like completely lost it. So it's a very challenging place. If you isolate yourself there, you are, you are bound to, to, to lose it. Because when it comes to that season where it's night only, I don't know what the sun, they say that the sun plays a role in our memory. It has got a, a certain vitamin or something. Then when that one lacks, you tend to have small memory losses. You are moody because of lack of that vitamin or whatever from the sun. But if you integrate yourself with people, if you hang around people, you, you forget about a lot of things. And I made sure that um, when I left the, this side of South Africa, I told my family that as much as they can update me on uh, everything, they must ensure that they must not stress me because I don't want to be stressed in an isolated place. On our second trip, there was a, a guy who came back not totally lost it but you could see that this is not the guy that he was not the same as when he went to antarctica he couldn't integrate with people he was always looking himself in his uh, cabin when we're coming back with the ship uh, he just didn't want to be with anyone he didn't talk to anyone he was always ready to fight sleeping it becomes an issue because on my second trip there were some people who required sleep, sleeping pills once in a while but it becomes very difficult to sleep normal the sleeping pattern there becomes very difficult in it, it, sometimes it's not for everyone that's why they come up with those psychometric tests the experience there like i'm saying i can spend the whole day explaining but if you've never been there you'll never understand that's the I, I, I don't know any experience that can surpass my experience in Antarctica.